Okay, so I've introduced the kit. I've showed you how to update the hub. I've showed you how to connect the Wi-Fi to the hub. And then I've talked to you about the software. I'm now I'm just going to kind of talk to you about some classroom management. You're going to get a sea of, of Lego tubs. A couple things about it, and I've kind of mentioned it. You want to figure out a labeling scheme. So I have all mine labeled by numbers. Every brick has a number to it. So you can see I've labeled the number, the brick itself has a number. So this is box 46. It has a tub that corresponds with it. So here's box 46. It has label, extra labels on it. If you open it up, this is labeled. And even the tubs themselves, if we look, are labeled. So all of these have labels on them too. And even underneath this, I put a, a label. If you don't, what will happen is the kid will set it on the table and grab another kid. And then one tub will have two of this tray. And the other tub will have two of that tray. They will leave these around. But the more you label, the better off you are. I haven't got to the point where I'm labeling individual parts and components, but I'm trying to label as many, as much as the main ones as I can. And so yeah, I think. Now, you do need to figure out management, like where are you gonna put things? There's a couple options you can have. As you can see, I have, this is just made out of uh, old shelving the school had. We built a brand new school and we moved. And this is literally just pieces of wood screwed. And then I just made the shelving. I redid an old library shelf. And then I made this. This is holding about 42 kits. You do want to think of what you're going to do for your extra pieces, your storage. Also, the pieces, there's going to be some pieces that are lost and stolen, and, and, and or hopefully not stolen, but are taken or moved or lost. So you, or you need, oh, Miss Kelly, I'm missing this part, so I've made some kits. I've made some kits, so this has set, set number of parts. I also use, I have storage of my extra parts in here. So I recommend you come up with something like that because you will have, what do you do with your extra parts? And when a kid needs it, where can they go and get it? That's one way of doing it. Another way you can do is you can repurpose. So this is a repurposed, this whole unit here is a repurposed library cart. So that's all I've done. I've just repurposed it, labeled it so that I can go both sides and hold uh, a few and also it also it is portable which is nice to have because then you can move it as you need to okay that is something then you can see i have these carts are purchased what these have is you can hold about 12 kits in them and then in the kit they just slide in slide out uh, again everything's labeled um it also gives you what's you do need to think about when they're building where do these robots go you need a place for them to be stored so while they're in the process of building they can leave them and come back and forth you do have to think about that as you go as you can see i have mine on cross the top here and so what happens is this is my class that's tomorrow's class and then when they go and take theirs i will move the the class that's coming next so those get moved up because then they're charging and on that, you do have to think about how are you charging. I bought a unit like this. It has This has 20. You can get different variations. I have this on my wall. The two of these units are sitting directly on my wall. Like one's over there, one's over there. And I have them on, a, on a, just a surge protector that I can click and turn off. And this is what I plug in. Again, I rotate my group so that's tomorrow's class that whole everything up there is tomorrow's class and then these ones down here and over here are uh that one over there those are my next class and i'll just do the rotation At, i could have another shelf and have these so that they could plug in i'm going to kind of work on that i have about if you have a class of 20 that would 2024 20, that would work perfect 
I have classes. So if I have all three sixth grade classes doing it, I'm in the 60, 70, 80 kids. So it becomes a logistic thing. And that's pretty much management that you have to think about. 